Hi Virgo, how are you? Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node placements in both sidereal and Western astrology because I practice both. I hope you all are doing well. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button if you enjoy my content. And that'll help you to see when I upload for your other natal placements in your chart as well. Okay. So, what is coming in for Virgo? What do the Virgos watching this uh, video need to know? Messages for Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. Oh, we have the Hermit in reverse. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, the Hermit card is your energy. Um, I see some of you guys, if you've been in an energy of being very withdrawn and keeping to yourself, I see you coming out of that energy. Um, I see you also wanting to come out of any type of drama or conflict that you've had with anyone. Um, keep in mind, this could be your person's energy as well, too. I feel there is someone that wants to come back around to you and that wants to come out of any type of um, drama or conflict that they've had with you. What do we have here? Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel this is somebody that you guys, um, well, whoever you're connecting with, um, I, th I feel like they're feeling a little bit rejected right now. I feel like you guys could have pulled back your energy. Um, I feel like you guys have gotten a little bit bored with the situation, actually, is what I'm kind of picking up, Virgo. Um, yeah, some of you guys... I feel like you took time to go within about a situation and you decided the best thing for you to do was to put your focus elsewhere. Some of you guys could also be feeling like bored in your day-to-day -day and your career as well. Um, or just what you're doing on a regular basis. More messages for the Virgos that watch this video, please. What do they need to know? What do we have here? Two of Wands. Yeah, you or your person are at a crossroads right now. I feel like you guys are planning your next step with the Two of Wands. You could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or another Virgo. Let's see here. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like you guys are in this very loving, intuitive, nurturing energy. I feel like... Right now, you're focusing on, you know, things that you love. You're focusing on things that are going to bring peace. Um, I feel like with the Hierophant that wanted to fly out in reverse, you could have been dealing with someone, either they were non-committal, we have Taurus energy here, or you were dealing with someone that was in an outside commitment, and it's like you're bored of the situation here. Yeah, we have King of Wands energy here. So some of you guys definitely could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. I'm getting you know, strong Leo, Taurus energy. I feel you were dealing with someone, um, you know, that was very good looking, very charismatic. Um, I feel this is someone that is action orientated, but the problem is, is you are having a hard time trusting this person is kind of what I'm getting. Can we clarify the Hermit in reverse and the Two of Wands? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. I feel like if you're waiting for somebody to make a decision, I feel like they are making a decision because they're going from the two to the one. Uh, and this could also be you guys too, you know, finding a new passion, a direction in your life. But if there was a choice between, let's say, two people, I feel like that person's choice has been made. They're going from the two to the one. So it's like they've, they've, they've dropped, they've uh, thrown to, to the side one of the wands. Right, and I feel like the whole situation... You know, could have been a third party situation, could have caused a lot of heartbreak. Um, for some of you guys, you could be moving on from, um, you know, a job or some type of place that you had a contract with where it really wasn't fulfilling to you. So you've made a decision to go into a new direction um, after being disappointed. And what happened there? Woo, what do we got here? All right, so, and right now, currently in sidereal astrology, you guys actually have both Sun and Jupiter in Aquarius, which is your sixth house. I mean, sidereal astrology, uh, Jupiter doesn't move to Pisces until later. It's not there yet. So it's still in Aquarius. So I feel like right now you guys are really thinking about, um, you know, who you are as a person and, and, and how that contributes to your work and what makes you happy. 
right? And I feel like you guys are going to be, you know, blessed in whatever it is that you decide to do um, as far as, you know, career goes as well. Now, can we clarify the Mother of Cups and the Five of Wands in reverse? Can we clarify the Five of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Cups for the Virgos watching this? Oof, what is all of this? All right, yeah, we got the Eight of Wands here, and we got the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys could be dealing with somebody that either they kept their options open or they were just confused. Just like they were confused about what to say. There could have been some type of commu um, confusing uh, communication between both of you guys, like messages online. Um, some of you guys could be at a distance, so you mainly communicate, you know, through text messages or, you know, online or that type of situation. Um, yeah, I feel like right now you guys are very guarded, though. It's like you're guarded against, you don't want to fall for the same thing twice is kind of what I'm getting. And also right now with um, Venus being in Capricorn, which is your fifth house, fifth house is all about pleasures. Um I feel like, and Saturn is also there too. I feel like you guys could be, you know, closing out karmic cycles with past life, uh, you know, soulmates and karmic soulmates um, that could just be primarily, uh, you know, intimacy or, or physically, int int physically intimately based, right? Um, so I feel like you're closing out cycles with people that are just, you know, kind of keeping their options open or not sure about what they want. I feel this person fantasizes about you guys a lot. I feel there's a lot of daydreaming that goes on within this connection. I feel this person is really trying to figure out what it is to say to you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, you're like, I wouldn't believe what they said if they said it anyways. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with somebody that's a charmer. Uh, they just can't make up their mind, but I don't really feel like you guys are waiting around for that energy. Yeah, no, you're not. You want to go after your 10 of Pentacles and you have that coming in. So with the Hierophant in reverse and the Four of Cups, I feel you guys could be leaving, um, this is also like you guys doing something that's out of the ordinary that breaks tradition. So um, there could be differences in culture between you and the person you're dealing with or differences in race or just differences in backgrounds. Um, I feel with your outcome being the 10 of Pentacles, whatever you do, I mean, you have a long term relationship coming towards you and you have abundance coming towards you. But I honestly feel like you're disassociating from energy that is not, um, that you don't feel as committed. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys have been healing. It's like you've been focusing on yourself with this temperance energy here. So that's actually really good energy that I see for you guys. You know, I feel like you've been waiting. Um, you've been waiting for a while. And I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like there could be another offer that comes in that you're not even expecting. Um I feel like you're not even going to see it. Matter of fact, because you've gone through so much in love with the four of cups, you might actually be, <laughs> you might actually push away your next long-term partner is what I'm getting on the side note. Um, but your money is going to look good. For some of you guys, you're going to start a new project. It's going to be very successful. You're going to have many different opportunities. For some of you, it could be an online business or something online. Um, but for others of you, I mean, you're really just, you're taking this time to heal. You're, you know, you're getting more enlightened. And I feel that, um, I mean, this long-term commitment is coming in, in, in due time, right? So that is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated, definitely hit that like button for me as well as subscribe. It'll help my small channel to grow and also help you to see new uploads for your other natal chart placements, okay? All right, bye, Virgos.